Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles and welcome to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I've got game 1 of a best of 3, it's from the Go4 SC2 Cup and it is between Aces Bly, the Orange Zerg player in the left position, who is up against Zion, who is of course the purple Zerg player in the top position. I'm fairly sure it is Zion, um, I think the F funny symbol L is team names, um, but it is definitely Zion. I know that much for sure. Anyway, it's a ZVZ, it's a best of three, and it's game one, which means that everything's on the cards. It could be something exciting. They are in the close by air positions, which means we are going to get these two overlords head bump each other, and we get to see the magic. Oh no, they're not going to head bump. No. Oh, look at this. They're going to miss each other. These poor overlords, all they want to do is make friends, but they're not going to get to. They're going to just see each other and go strolling on past. It's like a little road, and they're each going their own separate ways. It's an American road, because they're both driving on the right side of the road. And that was the most off-topic tangent ever. But, yes, let's talk about the game. So far, they haven't built spawning pools, which means neither of these players are planning on going for a cheesy build yet. I say yep because they could just go for a fake expansion into mass speedlings. That's a possibility. It's always a funny possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. Um, they haven't built gas either, which means they're probably not going for a super early speed. And the fact that they're both at 15 supply means they're probably both going to go for a 15 hatch, which we're seeing is going to be the case with them both pulling down the drones ASAP. We've got the scouting overlords finally making it to the base, who will now come to the same conclusion that their opponent has not built yet a spawning pool, and therefore must have th built a hatchery at 15 at the same time that they themselves did. So they now know that they are mirroring each other in a mirror matchup and they like mirrors, which basically means that not much is going to go on for a while, but ZVZ is a really exciting matchup in my opinion because Basically, at the at one period of time, it can seem like everything's going the same, but then a minor difference like the gas timing, which we're seeing here, can have a huge effect. Suddenly, Bly could get speed out, or I say suddenly, he can get speed out quicker. And then he can suddenly just flood with Zerglings, and due to the lava mechanic, he can get an awful lot of those very, very quickly, and there is not much Zarn can do to stop it. And that can make scouting quite difficult, and it's all about looking at how many lava are chilling, and how many drones there are out to really make an accurate assumption about how many units your opponent has. The defender's advantage though is very, very important in ZVZ. So Zan, having got the scout up on that gas, is good news for him. Meanwhile, both players are fairly aware of what their opponent's doing based on all the timing, so that is good news. Both hatcheries are going to get, well, one of the hatcheries is going to get spotted here by Bly. The double queen production started for Zion. Only a single queen at the moment for Bly, who should get his second queen up ASAP. You need that second queen, but instead actually choosing to get speed out a fraction quicker. So, he's delaying that queen to get speed earlier, so perhaps a bit of aggression is going to come down. A bit of deductive reasoning straight there. And, yeah, we are seeing an, a good strategy from both these players, a different strategy, but a good one nonetheless. Due to the fact that Bly is getting that slightly late queen, it means there will be a couple of lava out slightly quicker for Zion. We've also got the Baneling Nest now for Bly. I don't know if it is going to get scouted out, there doesn't appear to be very much here at all for Zion, but Zion is comfortably getting out his spine crawler. he's got his two queens up, and he is actually bringing these queens towards the ramp, so this is a really interesting strategy where he gets out three, four queens early and he can use two queens to block off the ramp to prevent precisely against what Bly appears to be planning on doing, which is getting out a large number of speedlings and bailings and going for aggression. That makes things really interesting because Zahn is now getting geared up to defend this in a perfect way. It just depends whether he's going to be able to or not. Looking at the worker count though, we do have an advantage of Zion having three more workers than that of his opponent. He does have the double spine call up, so he's clearly really concerned about something, but judging from what he scouted, ah, he's seen the baning nest. That's what's caused it. He saw the early baning nest and suddenly is a little bit panicked. We've got the double evolution chamber on their way down just to create a bit more of a wall lock, just to make things a little safer and try to delay the advance of the banings, etc. But unfortunately, there is a small gap here, which is currently getting defended by Zerglings. The Queen could come and chill in there as well though, should it want to, but for the moment we do see Bly trying to poke in, repeatedly checking that, hang on, this is not a complete wall off, and that does mean that I can stream straight into your main base, and that is bad news for Zan, and that is why SimCity has to be absolutely perfect when you do place all of your buildings. The Queen gets down, but luckily here's some Zan built earlier. Of course, Bly gonna be running, charging around, he's morphing in two banings, and if they don't go spotted, that could be terrible, terrible times, especially if all the Queens start chasing Bly Zerglings down here, but more Zerglings are streaming in. This is suddenly a massive, massive problem for Zan, and of course the Queens get completely 
obliterated. A transfuse goes down just in the nick of time. But with so many Zerglings here, it's not looking to be too much fun. The Banelings moving in, they're not getting great hits quite yet, but about to get a big one fairly soon. And this is probably going to be game right here and now. We've got more Zerglings streaming across the map. And with that, there's nothing Zion can do. He's got some Zerglings in production, but there's just not going to be enough to deal with it. Speed out a lot, lot sooner. Speed not even started for Zion yet. And his super economical focus of his build of getting just nothing but drones pretty much is not going to pay off. And yeah, that was pretty good in my opinion our blind and worked very very effectively so that was game one everyone if you did enjoy it please subscribe and like the video and i will catch you at game two any second i'll see you there